Hey guys, thanks for whacking on the thumbnail. This weekend I saw X-Men Apocalypse starring James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, and of course, Jennifer Lawrence. And guys, this is with the K Review. I'm Victor, and you know what? I had a cartoon crush in the 90s, and it was uh, Jubilee. Jubilee was my first cartoon crush in the 90s. Y you can have those, and still have them now. You're judging me jerks with a k review it's vic no it's with a k oh so ever since days of future past i have been waiting for the next x-men movie i love the x-men i grew up with them in the 90s i just love everything about the series you know you have x-men 1 which is great x-men 2 which was great spider-man 3 and then you had another spider-man 3 and then you had <laughs> So X-Men Apocalypse is one of those summer movies that I've been waiting for. When this was announced, I was extremely happy Brian Singer was going to be coming back and directing this movie because the guy just seems to have like this really good grasp on what it is the X-Men universe should be. And it's, you know, I have just one complaint, one kind of small complaint that nobody seems to be wearing their costumes. And I know it's a nerdy thing, but I just want people to wear their costumes for God's sakes. I mean, even Olivia Munn in this movie, she's the the only one that wears her skin tight outfit like she does in the comics and that's fine okay so X-Men Apocalypse is a movie that I was again looking really forward to for this summer and you have the basic story of Apocalypse coming into power and he's gathering all of his horsemen together and I like how that was done like the beginning of the movie you give a really good setup for Apocalypse and then later you see him gathering up the horsemen and you start to have like the character build and I wanted to love this movie. Like, when it was coming out, I was, like, so excited for this movie. And this movie was just... Mm. And that's not necessarily a bad man groan here. I'm not really, like, groaning as in... I really don't know how to define my groaning, but, you know... <laughs> The one thing in this movie that just was not out of place and it wasn't bad, but it just didn't have that right amount of feel to it was Oscar Isaac's character Apocalypse. And I really like Oscar. That guy is just, he's an amazing actor and Ex Machina, he played that really crazy inventor guy and he did a really, really good job at that. And I really thought he was going to bring that type of energy to Apocalypse. And you know, there's Apocalypse right there. And here's what Apocalypse looks like in the comics. Now... People have said that Apocalypse kind of looked like Ivan Ooze from uh, the old Power Rangers movie, and they did have a point with that, a very small point. He does look like that. But I don't want to hold that against Brian Singer. This movie has a lot a lot of really good things in it. It tries to build up the characters of Mystique and Magneto and Professor Xavier. As those characters like really build up in the movie, you have to have a bad guy, Apocalypse, who also supports those characters. And after I got done seeing this movie, I was like, eh. Not because it was bad or anything like that, it's just like, I didn't feel like that emotional kind of depth with the characters, like Days of Future Past, or even any of the other X-Men movies, where you kind of, if a character dies, you feel it. There are two characters in that movie, in this movie, that bite the dust, completely die, and you really don't care about it, or anything like that. There are just so many times in this movie that I wish Apocalypse was just more evil. Like, he's evil, he wants to kill everything, but he's just kind of evil. There's no rhyme or reason to really what he wants to do. He's almost kind of like a Shakespearean type of guy when he talks. There are so many characters that are in this movie, there are so many mutants, you need to have, again, that central character to kind of bring them all together. And usually it's like, you know, Professor Xavier, or, you know, even Cyclops or Jean Grey that are in this movie, but nobody really, like, takes the reins to kind of make everything better in this movie. Brian Singer does an amazing job, still, of, like, just doing the action in this movie. The Quicksilver scene in this this movie was absolutely amazing. Days of Future Past was good, but in this movie, it was a little bit better, and it really was like that movie ticket price moment. But in general, X-Men Apocalypse was just one of those movies that you go see in the theater because it's kind of like that popcorn movie. You get a lot of special effects, you get to see all your favorite characters, you get to see your one character brought to life, you know. Yeah. But in general, that's really what this movie was. It was kind of a popcorn movie. Was it terrible? Was this the worst movie in the series? No, absolutely not. And I actually think that you guys should go see this movie in theaters because I'm going to give this movie a 3K, but I'm going to give it a very strong 
3K, and I want you guys to go see this in theaters, rent it on video, and when it comes out on uh, on demand, I want you guys to put this in the number one spot because Brian Singer still knows how to make an X-Men movie. Thanks guys for watching my review. I do appreciate all the viewers and subscribers that I do have. Make sure to give me a whack right here if you want to subscribe to my channel. Whack up there if you want to see any of my past reviews. Leave me a little whack down comment below and let me know what is your favorite X-Men movie and your favorite X-Men character let me know in those comments below and let me know what did you think about psylocke the, being the one who was only in her original uniform do you think that's good for the creation of all this all of these x-men characters or should there be more of that and yeah never forget if you guys don't like what you're watching you can always turn it off but thanks for coming back and seeing me